If the federal government gets its way, some Australians on Centrelink could be hit with random drug tests. We met a young man who openly admits he buys drugs with his welfare payments. I can't really deny it. I can't really say anything against it. Well, he knows drugs are holding him back. I use dope and ice. Probably once a week, ice. The dope every day, at least a ten to a gram every day. Oh, I'd say that disrespects their fellow Australians. Whether it's new start or disability, uh, people shouldn't be abusing that system. It's there for people who need it. I can't say I'm proud of it, but I can say I'll do it. <laughs> Believe it or not, this was actually once one of Melbourne's premier wedding destinations. You can see the gazebo there. But now it's home to tenants like Adrian. He says he's using your money to fund his habit. Hello, mate. Hello. How's Hi. Going? Good, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry about the mess. I always make sure I've got uh, tobacco, rent and uh, food first and then I'll buy my drugs. It works, trust me, it does work. Like, you can budget for anything as long as you budget properly. You're also helping him foot the bill for this place. So it's a big help. Everyone keeps treating me like I'm a pig because I sleep in, I sleep in this. But honestly, $20, I can pay anyone around here $20 and they'll clean it up for me. Uh, like, I can clean it up in myself in five minutes, but I'm a king, I don't need to. <laughs> A lot of people would probably be a bit shocked that you spend Centrelink on drugs. Mm. What would your response be to that? Been happening since Centrelink came out, so... But, people have been buying drugs yeah. with Centrelink. Yeah. I could say I'm sorry, but it wouldn't really mean anything because tomorrow I'm just going to get out and get more drugs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. where's a sorry stop? Nothing. I want to help people get off welfare and get to work. Welfare has to be fair to those receive it, but it also has to be fair to those who pay for it, which is the taxpayer. When the tax Prime Minister Scott Morrison spoke to A Current Affair. I mean, the taxpayer, I don't think, has ultimately um, any issues with ensuring that in our society we help those who really need it. And I think Australians actually do support our social security system, but they don't want to be taken for mugs. What would it mean to you if your welfare was taken away as a result of drug use? Better start working again. <laughs> We're talking about drugs here. They're illegal. Yeah, well, um, depends on what your definition of legal is. Well, Adrian, it's pretty clear. Possession of methamphetamine carries a maximum penalty of one year in prison in Victoria. Doesn't really matter, like, their opinion is their opinion, like, um, even if the police came and charged me for what they saw on TV, I don't really care. I'm willing to cop that on the chin. 30 years old, I've been doing drugs a long time, yeah? And I haven't been busted once. Not once. Adrian is among the tenants renting rooms at Frankston's Ambassador Hotel. Drug use and crime is a constant at the estate. There's, there was three of them at coming at me. I was fighting for my life. So. Innocent tenants like James say he's fed up with the living conditions. You're getting sort of the worst of the worst. I don't do anything. I'm a bum. I lay on that spot right there watching that TV right there. Uh, I'm like the most useless bum in Australia, I swear. Adrian receives more than $2,000 a month in welfare. For the record, he's not on Newstart, he's on a disability support pension. He says his ADHD is among the reasons why he qualified for the DSP. Under his pension, Adrian is deemed capable of working part-time. Um, I'm allowed to work part-time on a pension, but um, it's kind of hard to find a job. He also pockets $138 a fortnight in rental assistance from the government. However, a current affair understands he's currently three months behind on rent. You could always use a little bit more on a pension. Mm. He's extremely lucky. I don't know how he got it. It's just not right. It's a slap in the face for people like Brodie Whelans from Queensland. 
I wish he could uh, trade places with me and know what it's like to have a disability and be stuck in a wheelchair every day. He's had 10 surgeries in 10 years, lives with chronic pain, is partially deaf and has recently had his leg amputated due to type 1 diabetes. Brody wants to work but can't. Despite his long list of health issues, the young man's pleas for a disability support pension have been rejected by the government. Yeah, I'd really appreciate if the government could help those who desperately need the help and um, uh, some compassion, you know. There's a lot of people out there who need help. The fact you're cutting up marijuana that you bought using your pension, mm. that's going to make a lot of people angry, Adrian. Oh, well. <laughs> you don't care about that? Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> Around 5,000 people could be affected under a government crackdown on welfare recipients who use drugs. Under a two-year trial across three locations, those on Centrelink benefits would be forced to undergo random drug testing. If the test is positive, uh, then what we do is we quarantine 80% of your welfare payment um, and that has to be spent on things like food and clothing and shelter and these things, um, particularly for families involved, that's very important. And only 20% comes in cash. Right now, only New Start and Youth Allowance recipients would be subject to the trial. However, experts believe if the government considers it a success, all welfare recipients could eventually be subject to drug testing. Yeah, it's quite likely it will be extended to anybody on any kind of benefits. They're all taxpayer funded benefits. So if one group of people has to do the testing, why wouldn't the logic extend to the other groups as well? Simone Casey is a policy analyst from the Unemployed Workers' Union. People who are uh, drug addicted, uh, who have serious drug habits, will be um, engaging in getting their money through other means. So withholding welfare from them is not going to stop them from using drugs and it's gonna drive them further towards crime. She says drug testing welfare recipients and linking unemployment to addiction won't help anyone. They need um, sensitive services that can reach out and help them when they're ready for treatment, not being forced into treatment when they're not ready. What will it take for you to give up drugs or is that not even on the agenda? Uh, no, like, um, it's not like I'm a hardcore drug addict. No, nah, but, um, no, nah, I wouldn't give up drugs because like, most have been doing it for a long time, yeah. Um, Adrian says he knows the kind of job he'd go for if he was forced off welfare. I would pretty much go find the first furniture removal job I could because I'm just a <laughs> go, part of my friends. <laughs> Something easy going where I can just put a bunch of boxes in the back of a truck. We just want to help people get into work and there are things that are holding them back and drugs is one of them and we want to help break through. To these people that do the drugs, all right, they don't see it as a bad thing. The police do, I think the everyday person does, the government does, a mm. lot of people see it as a bad thing for a reason. Yeah, but like I said, it depends on the side of the fence you stand on. We're currently running a poll on Facebook asking if welfare recipients should be drug tested. 61% of you say yes, 39% say no. There's still time to vote, just head to our Facebook page.